As any hard-nosed reporter would, I had some tough questions prepared for Frank Sisensky. Is Bigfoot a proper name for a Sasquatch? That's what people just nicknamed it. He's the self-described Sasquatch researcher who taught me that Big Feet is never the plural for the hulking, hairy beasts some believe to be roaming the woods. It's known to be up to eight foot tall, the same as the abominable snowman. I have a lot to learn. Yes. So how did the Hubberton, Vermont retiree become such an expert? Well, he insists he captured a Sasquatch on camera. This is where the creature was crouching down in this position right here. Sysensky remembers wanting to know who or what was taking all the apples from his tree in September 2010. His outdoor camera photographed a coyote, then this. My God, what in the world is that? Folks from all over contacted Sysensky with ideas. And I just got an uh, email and a call from Australia. He believes this blurry figure is a long-haired female Sasquatch, about 400 pounds, with a baby in tow. It's either protecting its young or picking it up, we don't know. One biologist we reached with Vermont's Fish and Wildlife Department said he just was not interested in talking about this. He said even suggesting that this story is legit would be a waste of his time, and Sysensky is used to that kind of skepticism. They're going to call you a of not. Others have told him this is more likely an owl, but he's not budging, even buying a vanity plate. I'm surprised the license plate wasn't already taken. <laughs> I know. And decorating his lawn with Sasquatch statues. This guy's in pretty good shape. He's got good pecs and abs. But that's exactly what one would look like right there. So until he gets a clearer view of the real thing, Frank Sysensky will keep battling the non-believers. It can't be anything else but. And searching for proof that Bigfoot is roaming the Northeast. In Hubberton, Vermont, Jack Thurston, NECN.